Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Recently I've been testing out a Foscam FI9828W. So previously I did an unboxing video, I did tutorial videos for it. Now here's, here's my review. So let me get to the pros and cons. First, the pro. This unit has a 1.3 megapixel sensor. So what this means is that I can have a 720p resolution, which is 1280 by 720, or I have it have a 1280 by 960 p resolution. So the left and right, the view angle is still the same, but for the top and the bottom, with a 960p, I can actually view more from the top and more on the bottom. And I think that this is great for a security camera. Next is the 3x optical zoom. Uh, I love optical zoom because with optical zoom, it's clear, much better than the digital zoom, like I use on like the uh, iPad or iPhone. I can zoom in, I can sort of make out some of the things, but with optical zoom, I can actually make out someone else's license plate, for example. So this unit functions very much like the FI9826W, except that it's outdoor and waterproof. Now let's talk about a con. So this unit has a fixed antenna. It's not adjustable. I can't bend it, adjust it left, right, like the other Foscam cam camera antennas. So when I was trying to mount this, I had to make sure that the base was screwed about five inches, six inches, just to be safe below the gutters. This the antenna itself is about five, four, four and a half inches. With this outdoor unit, it looks like this way mounted. So it's nice and even, if you have a Foscam logo. But if it were me, I'll actually make it more like this, on a tilt, at an angle. The reason I'll do that is because over here, the base, it's against the wall. I have no reason to have a 90 degree view back against the wall. Now this thing has a 3x optical zoom. So if it was like this, zoomed out, I can view the horizon 90 degrees, no problem. But once I zoom in, I cannot zoom in on anything that was at the, at the, at the same 90 degree level. So I can't zoom in on objects like here. I can only zoom in on objects at a slightly lower angle. So like the lens right now, say that this cardboard represents the, the where the lens is pointed, it's right here. So when it zooms in, it zooms in at this cardboard area. But when it's zoomed out, it can actually see the horizon just this part right here. So this unit has a pretty small base, but it's got a nice thick cable coming out of it that leads to these tentacles. So what I don't like is that when this was mounted, I had this dangling and I had to get my own cable management uh, solution. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Office Depot, essentially those black um, plastic cable ties or take cable wraps. It's really meant for indoors, like put it behind your desk to hide a network cable, power cable, lamp, lamp cord, just so that everything's more organized. I essentially had to do that for this thing because I don't want all this exposed. And it's kind of weird too because this is mounted, this is screwed into my house, but then this is just dangling off it and I had to get an ethernet cable plugged into here, so a power cable plugged into, into here. So I had to use that the cable solution to wrap this thing. Those things cost anywhere from like $15 to $22 if you buy name brand products. And what I would have preferred is that this base, this uh, box over here, it was a little bit bigger, the cord shorter. That way I can choose what I want connected, but it's all hidden within here. So uh, definitely power. And I also need, let's see, perhaps the audio and then the ethernet cable. So all three will be plugged here and here. And because this is mounted outside, the chance of me going out here and changing something is pretty darn slim. So even though it's mounted on a second story or a first story, it doesn't really matter. But at least everything's contained within this box rather than this dangling on the outside. So I'm going to point the camera at the FOSS camera unit and hopefully it'll capture the infrared LED lights. It is noticeable. So when I'm two feet from it, I can see it. I'm moving backward. If I'm about like 10 feet, 15, 20 feet, I can still see the U-shaped infrared LED lights. It is quite noticeable. In this test, I'll be the subject from the camera. So I'm just start walking backwards, starting from about three feet from the camera and about five feet, six feet. So all the infrared LEDs are shining on me, so you don't see anything behind me. And once I get out the camera's way, that's when the camera will just refocus 
and then you can start seeing further into the distance. And the moment I step back in front of the camera, all the light will be bounced off me. The camera will need to adjust. Then my facial expression and features will clear up and now you can see the, my face. One of the more popular questions I get from my viewers is where can they store the images, the videos remotely off site? They don't want to store it locally or they don't want to bother with managing a storage unit. So in this in that situation, you might want to check out the Foscam cloud service. The um, reason I bring this up is because they do offer a free trial, which is just one camera with 30 videos, 100 images, and it's free to try. So I love products that's free to, free to try. So check this out. You can get it at a Foscam cloud. Dot com. Here I've already added it. this one right here. I just named it Outdoor, Front Outdoor. And if I go to my live view, this, I'm on a Foscan Cloud website right now. And let's see, I can just turn on the Outdoor Front. So here, I'm going to view my Outdoor Unit. I turn on my Baby Monitor one too. And that's my boy. He's sleeping right now. And back to the front. And later, if it detects any motion, or I have to set this up too, but it will automatically record oh, things here. So it recorded videos for the motions it detected earlier today, this evening. So let's play one of them, for example. All right, so it caught the motion of uh, a car driving by slowly. Oh, my neighbor. So after all that pros and cons, would I still recommend this unit? answer is yes. So I haven't reviewed any Foscam outdoor unit before in the past. This is my first one. The reason I'm, I chose this one is because this one has everything I wanted. HD, wireless, pan tilt, zoom, night vision. It's, it's, and the perk is it's 1.3 megapixel sensor so I can get 960p. That's just everything I wanted. And the price, $300, I don't think it's expensive. I don't think it's Inexpensive, I think it's just priced just right for an outdoor unit with all these features. Thank you for watching this review of the Foscam fi 98 w So this unit was provided by Foscam for a review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching for Hamster. Bye.